Hey guys, what's up? Juggernaut Ohio here. In today's video, we'll be going through all the hidden chest locations on the King's Fall Raid and Destiny. So we'll show each location and the strategy for obtaining the boxes. So once you have your fire team and you're going into the raids, you can use the video as a guide for getting uh, the three hidden chests and the loot that comes from them you'll get moldering shards and sometimes the antiquated ruin and some other um, items special thanks to the guys that help us do this and if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe and share it with your friends and let's go ahead and get started with the video <laughs> Alright, so once you're in the raid, uh, the first box, the first hidden chest is going to be located after everybody does the platforming stage with the ships. So once you have fun watching everybody fail a couple times at platforming over to the other side, what you'll want to do is make your way over to the other side of the map. So once everybody is up, just go around to the back of the building where you first come up from the ships. And there's going to be two sink plates, one on the left and one on the right. So we'll show you those here. And there'll be the ship in the middle that people ride across. You can see it right there and you're heading for that green glass plate on the other side. So once everybody's up here, get everybody in place. Two people have to stay back the first go. So one person will have to stand on the sink plate on the right. Then another person will stand on the one on the left. Unlike a popular thing going around is that uh, two people have to get left behind don't get the box. That is not true. We'll show you how everybody gets the box. So once we have two people standing on each plate, you'll have to make your way up that ledge. And there's a doorway over there that's shut. So that's why two people have to be on the sink plates. Right there's the door. So once the ship gets across, you'll go on that ledge. So first thing you have to do is convince everybody that they're getting the box. Um, so you know, get somebody to stand on the right and left plates to open the doorway on the other side. And again, just reassure them that you know with this strategy, everybody's going to get the box. Nobody's getting left behind. So, once a person is standing on each of the two sink plates, the other four people can go ahead and jump on the ship and start making their way across to the other side. Instead of going through the green, the opening to the other side, which the sink plates make disappear, so that's how you get through normally. So you jump up on the ship. And once you get close to the other side, you're going to jump where Serpa owns is down there onto the side and walk up the beam and jump up into the hole. Uh, if you do fall off and die, it's fine. Just uh, res and you'll be back on the other side and ride the next ship across. So jump over here. Then jump over to the ledge and then slowly make your way up this beam. Uh, just kind of hug the wall. These little notches will push you out, but if you go slow, it won't push you off of the ledge. Until you make your way to the top. And then just jump up in the hole itself. There is a timer on the box once you open it, so wait for all of the first four people to get across before you open it. And you can see the guys on the sink plates over there. Keeping the door open until everybody's through. Okay. 
And then down here there's two more sink plates, so that's how we'll get the other guys across to get their chest. So now that all four is through, let's go ahead and open the box. And once you get your loot, you'll just make your way over here down the left hand side and jump down to the other platform. And somebody will need to stand on the right sink plate and somebody on the left to hold the door open and the guys on the other side can come through and repeat the same process so that way they can get the chest before you move on to the next phase Guardian so just have somebody come over here to the right stand on that plate somebody on this left plate so now the door will open again and the two guys on the other side can now get on the ship they can get off of their sink plates, get on the ship, come over and grab the box. Just make sure you stay on the sink plates until they're up where the box is, or the door will close on them. You can reopen it, but uh, I would just stay on the plates until they're up there and got the box. Make sure everybody knows where to jump before they get on the ship. Uh, so that way nobody misses the jump. So, once they make their way up and they're through and they get the loot, everybody can jump off of the sink plates. And that's how you get all six fire team members the first hidden chest in the raid. And then you can continue on to the next part. So the second hidden chest is in the Golgoroth cellar maze after you've killed the war priest. So just go through the portal. Uh, we have the map up here on the right that I created of the maze and the pressure plate locations and the chest location. The link is in the description uh, of the map that I made, so check that out. Give it a bookmark if you need to go back and reference, or you can go back and pause the video at that point. So once in your, you're in the cellar, you're just going to have one person on each of the pressure plates. Make sure they stand off of it at first because you got to do them in order. So at the first T, you're going to have somebody go to the far left. And there'll be one pl pressure plate down there. It's, it basically just looks like a sink plate. And in the center of it, there is a uh, engraved flower or leaf. And just have them stand next to it. And then after that, just turn around and have everybody else follow you down to the end. The right hand end and right here where the hole is there's another sink plate right there so you'll just have one of the fire team members stand next to this sink plate on the map this is indicated as number three i believe two or three i would have to go back and check the map but it's the one on the there you go so there's the sink plate that little circle in the middle has the leaf emblem on it so after that have everybody else follow you um, straight down from that plate door to the next intersection and hang a left one person is going to go all the way down to the other end which has the door with the hole above it and there's a jump point from the opposite side of the door. So Big Woodoo's down there now where that door is and he's jumping into the hole. And that's always the one that starts off the sequence. The last person will go this way opposite of the chest to the first tee and take a right and go to the end and take another right. And the final sink plate is down here on the right hand side just before the exit of the cellar maze. So once you have everybody in place, you're going to have the person that's in the doorway that you have to jump above stand on it first. And when you do them in the right order, you'll hear the noises. You'll hear like a, a clunk noise, followed by your controller vibrating. 
and then the next person will stand on it and they should get the same noise and the same vibration if it doesn't work just have everybody stand off and try a different pattern until you get it uh, what's worked for us is the one that has the hole jump is always the one that starts and then it normally goes top right bottom left and then top left uh, but we have had it in a couple different patterns so you just have to test it out until you get the sound of the door open just like that right there and now the second loot chest is available so just go back to the main have people go to the main um, intersection so that way all the people that are on doors can find their way back to the chest and once you have everybody grouped up then you can go ahead and go into the hidden room that has the chest in it so those lights at the end are the actual end the exit so go the opposite way if you see those lights you see the door open there is where the chest is so just have everybody make their way over to the chest And if you know the pattern or have the map help guide people uh, so it makes it go a little quicker. And then once everybody is at the hidden room with the chest you can go ahead and open it and claim the loot. And once you have claimed the loot you will just exit straight towards that light ahead of you. So just leave the chest room and keep going straight and that will take you into the uh, pit where you fight Golgoroth. So just head straight down towards the light and then you'll see some lights hanging on the wall. That means you're going the right way. So there's the lights. And you're ready to continue on to the next one. So now after you beat Golgoroth you're going to want to make your way to the next platforming and piston area to get the final third hidden chest. Um, if, you're doing, if you've done this before and you're doing it with friends that haven't, it's always fun to make them do the ship part first in the beginning, the platforming, and then this part here immediately after Golgoroth. Just tell them to follow the light. So here, this is Serpa Owen's first time at this part. So we had him go first, and once you get out to the platforming part, uh, just have him follow the little ball of light, and there'll be a little fun surprise for him. There you go, follow that light, Serpa. Boom! Guardian town. Classic fun. So, yeah, so once you get to this part, you're just going to make your way platforming over to the where the first sink plate is that does the hidden uh, rock bridges. So just follow along the um, little ledges that are on the side of the walls here. If you're on a hunter, triple jump is most definitely preferred for all of these. Guardian, down. So once you make it over to the sink plate, you're just going to turn to the right. And you'll see a pillar that has a little ledge on it down there where the guys are. And if you get out your ghost, you'll see a bridge form over there. So just make your way over to the pillar. And then jump up onto the bridge. And make your way up here to the top. And there'll be another ledge on the pillar. 
right there. And from there, you'll jump back to another ledge on the wall on the back side. And then if you bring out your ghost, there's another hidden ledge right there. And this is the top of the jumps. So once you're up here, you'll just have to turn around and jump into the hole behind you, which is where the hidden chest is. And again, just wait for everybody in the fire team to make their way up here. First time people, it could take them a couple tries. And then once everybody's there, just make the way to the back of the room. And you'll find the third and final hidden chest in the raid. And claim your loot. And there you go. That's how you find all three hidden chests in the raid and everybody gets them. A special thanks to the fire team that helped. Prime Dabs, Big Woodoo, Serpa Owns, An Old Man, Apache Commander, and Reborn. Uh, if you guys like the video, it helps you out some, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, we will be having some videos on the King's Fall raid itself and some uh, let's play of the just the 2.0 story missions and quests so hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time